Fallout New Vegas has tons of cut content that we never get to see in the final game, from cut characters and locations to unused features and perks. In this video, we'll be looking at 8 cut quests that at one point were planned to appear in the Mojave Wasteland. Betsy the Brahmin is a cut follower that was once planned to appear in a pen next to the Freeside's northern gate, kept and sold there by a character named Kevin Hargrove. With enough caps, the player would have been able to acquire her as a companion, with a carrying capacity of 600 pounds. What's even more interesting about Betsy is that whenever the player would sleep, a script would run to see if she was carrying more than 50 items in her inventory. If that was the case, the player would have woken up with all their items and Betsy gone, triggering a quest requiring you to track down your stuff and the Brahmin. According to Betsy's script, she would have returned back to Kevin Hargrove, left the player as a companion, and her name would have been changed to Brahmin, disguising her as just another pack Brahmin. The items left in her inventory would have been given to another cut character named Tom Dooley, a merchant that was once planned to appear in Freeside, mentioned by Rotface. There's a guy out on the main drag who sells second-hand adventuring gear. He's got an okay selection, but where does it come from? The player would have had to confront Dooley and Hargrove, most likely having to kill them both, in order to retrieve the stolen goods and Betsy, who would have only then become your permanent companion. Infected Brahmin meat found in the Gourmand kitchen at the Ultralux was once intended to be used for a cut sabotage quest against Caesar's Legion. According to some remaining notes, you would have been able to use the meat to poison the Legion's stew. As seen in this leftover message, you could have also poisoned and killed all of the Legion mongrel dogs. Some NPCs still have leftover voice lines reacting to it. Those Legion beasts needed to be put down, like the vermin they are. Legionaries are next in the list of rabid dogs to put down. Our hounds were bred to kill. They are missed. Siri would have been involved in this quest as well, helping the player to obtain the infected meat. In Red Rock Canyon, originally there was a quest named VMX48 that would have allowed the player to undergo the Khan initiation ritual and become a great Khan. You would have had to speak to a cut NPC named Rightmaster to begin the quest and face off against four Khans that would have been found in the arena practicing on training dummies. Using the Gek, they can still be re-enabled to appear in game. A locker named VRR Initiation Locker Ref was meant to act as temporary storage storage for the player's items, similar to the Legion's arena found in the fort. The fight itself would have been probably done without any weapons, just using your fists. In Boulder City, a character by the name of Jack Wilson was once planned to be involved in a quest requiring the player to track him down in Gamora. Jack would have been a contractor in charge of rebuilding Boulder City and would have also operated Quarry Junction. According to a cut note tied to the quest, Jack Wilson is getting paid to move the stone from the quarry to the city ruins. However, the existing rubble already in the city could be used instead to save money. This, however, is vetoed by the NCR that considers the materials unusable. The player most likely would have had to convince Jack to use the rubble anyway, to either speed up or save money on the rebuilding costs, or perhaps circumvent Quarry Junction because of the death clause. Ike the bartender of the Bighorn Saloon would have informed you where to find Wilson. Underpass is a cut settlement located far north of the map, just south of Nellis Air Force Base. Cut inhabitants named Underpass citizens would have been found there, as well as a mayor named Meg Reynolds. Well howdy. She would have given the player a cut quest asking them to fix the water purifier for the town, which according to its cell name was found near Carl Sinclair's house. A working script and a message box still exists, and it reads, This purifier would provide clean water to underpass if it were functional. Whoever assembled it had no idea what they were doing. Many parts are connected incorrectly or hooked up backwards. Someone with the proper knowledge could easily get the purifier operational. The player would have needed either 35 repair skill or science to fix it and provide fresh water for the settlement. There's an unused quest called VMQ House Lockdown that would have triggered if the player started fighting the Securitrons in the Lucky 38. Mr. House would have locked down the elevator for 24 hours, only allowing it to be used to return to the casino floor and exit the building. Vacate the premises immediately. 
The casino is off limits for 24 hours. Aggressive acts on the casino premises will be met with lethal force. Vacate the premises immediately. All Securitrons are at a state of high alert. The quest would have directed the player to escape the Lucky 38 until Mr. House's security lockdown expires. In the final game, House just tries to kill you if you start combat, instead of giving you a second chance to work with him, which in my opinion would have been a lot more interesting. House still has two unused voice lines, indicating that the player had attempted to kill him before. I'm optimistic that this conversation will go more smoothly. There will be no repeat of the trouble we had last time, I trust. Ranger Station Foxtrot has a disabled hatch behind the main tent that would have led into an underground bunker with barracks for NCR troopers and cut characters named Private Biggs and Private Hardcourt, who would have been both involved in a cut quest named V Free Roam RS Foxtrot. According to the few remaining player lines, Private Biggs thinks Hardcourt is a jinx and would have given the player something to kill her with. In order to make the rest of the squad safer, Hardcourt appears to have been in intended as a female soldier, as she can be flirted with if the courier is male. Not much more details can be found for this quest. In the Monte Carlo Suites, situated directly north of the Sunset Sarsaparilla headquarters, a raider gang called Scorpions can be found using the Crumbling Hotel as their main base of operations, led by their leader Yvette. This character at some point in the game's development would have been the source of an unmarked quest to aid the gang in obtaining a steady supply of ammunition from the shady NCR quartermaster Daniel Contreras, located in Camp McCarran. An unused paper note called Ammunition for the Scorpions would have been given to the player. It reads, Yvette, the leader of the Scorpions on the west side of New Vegas, wants you to set up a steady supply of ammunition from the NCR quartermaster at Camp McCarran. Her gang recently acquired new firearms, but lacked the ammunition to put them to use. Looking inside the rooms in the hotel, as well as character placements, Roller, the only other named Scorpion gang member, seems to have been in charge of manufacturing ammunition and fixing weapons. He was also likely the person Yvette would have you talk to about the quest after she gives you the order of what to do. He was also intended to be a chem merchant. But what do you guys think? Would you have liked to see any of these quests in game? Let me know in the comments below and thanks for watching.